the perfect way to start out a Saturday morning. The perfect way to start out a Saturday morning is to make cheesecake. Like, because it makes you look forward to the evening. Just that much more, that much more. And so our first cheesecake, I'm waiting for the oven to finish preheating, and it'll go in. And here it is before it goes in. Wonderful, they call me wonderful. It's a toffee cheesecake. I didn't actually buy enough toffee to put in it. Oops! So, we're going to run to the store and we're going to get more toffee. And we're going to sprinkle some on top to make it more toffee-like. So, but I'm excited. I'm so excited. Chris made the crust for me. And he beaded up the cream cheese and he added the sour cream. Um, so, I didn't make it 100% by myself. That's okay. Um, I finished the rest of it because I was spraying out diapers. That was fun. Not really. But that's what happened. So oven just beeped. So I'm going to put it in, and I'll see you guys in literally just a couple seconds because I have something else to show you guys. Hey, look who's joined me. Who's joined my sea face. So I wanted to show you my plants because some of them they're just, they're growing, and it's exciting because they're growing. So I'm gonna do some awkward camera shakeage going on here one-handed at the moment cilantro you're doing good cilantro if you notice they're kind of facing out like trying to lean more towards the sun the cilantro parsley i might need to actually grab the parsley good news you guys keep rooting my parsley on but you see that see that little sprout and there's two more in there that you really can't maybe if i zoom in Okay. Right there. Those two right there. There's that one and then those two. I'm sure more will come. I just wanted to give a shout out to Parsley. Doing good, dude. Keep working hard. An awkward moment. Let me get this back. Okay. Then we got our my basil, which has been, you know, my champion. Then we got some minions. What? Minions? Then we got, I'll grab this one. Like I said, I believe that's my sage. And still no rosemary, which would be on the other half. So we'll see. See what happens. Rosemary, we're waiting on you. Party can't start without you. So it's kind of, oh, she wants to get down. That's what's been going on with my plants. Just looking. I just I want them all to do so well. They're like they're like little kids to me. So I'm gonna let you go, and we'll see you guys later. Bye. So we took the first cheesecake out of the oven. We haven't even started with the second cheesecake yet, and uh, it's kind of funny. Kind of funny. Kind of had a cheesecake explosion a little bit. Blah. Might even try to 
kind of cut that off. I don't know. We'll see. So, I think we accidentally put it in a pan that was too small, and so it ended up going way over, and that's always fun. I think that's a bit of toffee right there. So, it even kind of exploded in the oven. Yeah. She say it's good still, though. Good afternoon. So, second cheesecake is in the oven. Pink lemonade I'm used to making this one, so it should turn out. Okay. Shane's sleeping. In here, other than the mess that's in here, we have Cole playing games. I have Chris putting up my curtain, and then he has his little helper helping him. Me. You. Go get that to daddy. Okay, I had to Hi. Guys, I have to write about uh, to get. I, I have a I have. For everything of these things right over here, looking what I'm about to do on the screen of the TV. Look on the screen of the TV. See, you have to match it and then you can plug E and put it in here. And then it builds up and dry. And we also yes. can use it off the no. build on no, the thing that sucks yes. up the screen stuff that see. make you die. Let and you see. can like, and after it does it, after you build anything or it builds it, it gets you cold. It gets you whatever it is. Fire. Fire. Lego coins. Lego coins. I'm going to call them Lego. You guys got that? So, Cole was explaining the game. And I was asking if they got that. Listen, let me put it. I don't even know what the it is. The first time I played this game, I don't even know if I want to know. I didn't know what I was supposed to do um, at this part. But then I knew how to do I it. I swore today. That I wasn't gonna say I'm tired, and so I'm not saying that I'm tired. That wasn't the end of the sentence. Huh. Look, so, look, I'm oh. watching. Oh. <laughs> look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh. Oh. I swore today that it was yeah, not. It. <laughs> guys. I'm sorry for you. I did say something, and it was because somebody ran over my toe with the cart, and it hurt a heck of a lot. Um. Oh, and also, anyway, Chris is ratting me out. I um, I swear I wasn't gonna say that I was tired today, so <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. All I'm gonna say is I'm about to go lay down. in Okay. You just tooted. Um, what else was I gonna say really quick? Oh. No. That task that I submitted, Stop. I passed it. Stop. Yay, so now I am one third done with that class. Four. And the next task shouldn't be too hard either. If I do two slides a night starting tonight, I should get that done in four days. Like, it only needs to be eight slides oh. long. So it shouldn't be too bad. But in celebration of passing that task, I feel like I should go contemplate the next, next task in my dreams and, and learn that way so I'm gonna go lay down but I'm not gonna say I'm tired yeah, so that laying down business that I tried to do pretty much a fail because soon after I lay down I don't even know how long after but it feels like only like 10 minutes or so I don't think I was ever really even asleep Shane woke up and so and so Shane was brought to my room to lay down with me and he was actually asleep and then all sorts of heck stuff broke loose out here with yelling and screaming and that woke both of us up so right now the boys are outside you can't see them right now but they are out there 
playing in the pool and the water table. I think they keep bringing like the cups and their watering plants. I really like the fact that I can have them play out in the front yard like this and I'm sitting here with Shane because Shane was out there but he got he was getting too hot and so he wanted to come in like I knew he wanted to come in because he actually came to the front door and Shane over there by the ladder but he came in and he sat by the front door and just kind of looked at me like I want to go inside that one's definitely broken it's not even broken. It's yeah, like it was like never finished. Defect or something. I only got 39 of them. I think we'll survive. Shane. I'm trying to climb up the ladder. But I just wanted to say to a certain somebody out there, you know who you are. I think he might start walking before you come. He was outside and he started standing up by himself without holding on to anything. And he'll just stand there and look like he's ready to take a step. And then I'll turn around and see him and he'll give me this big grin and just sit down again. Like, I'm not going to show you that I can do this, Mom, but I can. So I think within the next couple weeks here, it'll, it'll happen. Hopefully, it'll wait though for at least you know how many weeks. Because then, then he could do his first steps for you. So, Chris is working on speakers right now. He's putting string and wires. He said, I didn't want to put any holes in the wall. Like, I just. Our last place, I could care less if I put a hole in the wall. Because we moved in and there were huge gaping holes in the wall to begin with. Um, but this place, like, it's a nice place and it's not ours. So I know it's not permanent. Like, it's a, it's pretty stable right now. Like, I'm sure we're going to be here until at least I get a job, which is going to be after I graduate in 2018. So we might be moving, you know four years from now I'm guessing so I'm hoping we can live here at least one year while I'm working <laughs> hopefully so that we can save up a little bit of money to like rent like a home um, for a little while and then we'll save up to buy a home so that's what I'm, I'm hoping will happen and here I am just rambling at this point Get one good shot of Chris's butt. More like him working hard. And then, oh, we put my five pennies thing up. It looks really awkward right now. <laughs> but I'll let you guys see it. It's right here on this wall. Let me zoom out so like there's this huge and you know, one side of the wall is over there the other side is over here goes up to there and there it is right there but this whole wall right here is going to end up being a um, photo gallery wall and so I didn't want to like rearrange it later <laughs> so I put it where I think it's gonna end up being for the photo gallery wall which I'm hoping to have that done in a few months <laughs> Because first we had to go out and get like good family pictures taken and I have to shop around for frames which I want to go to antique stores and see what kind of frames they have and what I can find and then I want to kind of paint them and distress them and, and stuff like that. So, but I'm really excited about this wall because I also want a picture of the temple that we got married in. I need to contact Chris's parents and see if they can get me a... a picture or at least a um a file of um their wedding day i kind of want a picture of them and then i want a picture of my mom and dad i'm sure we oh yeah on one of those discs and then i want a picture of my mom and dad or i you don't even care if they're separate which i'm sure we have that too like so I can have a picture of my mom separate and then my dad separate on his wedding day and, and maybe Julie. 
I'm Julie if you're watching this please don't get offended um I don't know how to work that like she is my kid's grandmother at this point and so she probably will end up on the wall and that's why I think I want to do it um just separate photos like of everybody just on their wedding day kind of a thing I think that will be they're spitting water into my bike I can see them they don't think I can see them and it's Ira I had to dye my hair had to dye my hair to get rid of white hairs from that kid Chris is soon gonna have to start dyeing his beard to get rid of his white hairs oh, from him. It shows my, how distinguished I am. Oh, his one white hair. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much all for now. Good evening, everyone. It's that time of night to say good night to you guys. Um, Chris finished setting up our surround sound. So there's the front speakers. Put this back when there's a wire that goes up. And then over here, and then it goes across that, and then diagonal. And, you know, there's like the shelf goes diagonal across the shelf, and up to the ceiling, and down, so you can barely, really barely see it. Like, eventually, I probably won't even notice, notice it. And then for the other side, took it across. You can't even see it with everything down here, but I took it across the baseboard. Up along the wall, oh yeah, but my goodness, across the ceiling, and then down to the speaker, and then oh, new curtains. I think they're pretty. I think they're so pretty. So I don't know if this room's still a mess. We didn't even get to clean up dinner. Um, Chris helped me with my homework tonight, which all I was doing was setting up all the slides for the PowerPoint that I have to do. So that's what happened there. Ah, Chris putting diapers in the dryer. He looks so thrilled about it. But yeah, we're we are heading off to bed because I know I said I wouldn't say it today, but I feel like you know it's now 10 o'clock at night so I can say it. I am tired and I'm going to bed <laughs> so that's that's what's happening right now so we will see you guys tomorrow for our one take Sunday bye